Please welcome from the hit musical Southern Comfort, our next performer is both a rising star and a fierce activist for the transgender community, Mr. Donnie Cianciotto. When you're my height, you have all sorts of trouble. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for being here tonight. Uh, my name is Donnie Sanciato, and I'm here because I found out about this event about a week and a half ago when I saw it advertised on Facebook. And I was like, <sighs> I, I, wanna, I wanna do it. So I actually messaged Rob and Laurel and Traylon saying, please invite me. Now, I'm not a Broadway voice, I'm an off-Broadway voice. And, thank you. I'm not from North Carolina, I'm from Staten Island. <laughs> but, I am a transgender man. So, if I, thank you. I've waited so long to get applause for that. It was worth it, Mom. <laughs> She's not here. If I were in North Carolina, I would legally be obligated to use the women's restroom. I, I know. <laughs> you know, which isn't all bad, because it's usually cleaner. Uh, well, I, uh, I don't know, hold on. I've got experience in both now. All right. So I can say you've got your hoverers in the women's room and then you've got your guys who just don't care where it goes in the men's room. So this is the most ridiculous law that I can think of that has ever, that's been around in my lifetime. And um, it doesn't just affect trans people, it affects uh, masculine women. Uh, who, who happen to go into the ladies' room and get mistaken for a transgender uh, man. Or for, uh, there are so many aspects of this that we're not necessarily paying attention to. Um, and it's just about hate, and it's just about ignorance. I promise I'm not gonna go into a room, a uh, bathroom, and molest a person. I can't even hit on a person <laughs> confidently. <laughs> so, oh, that's about my height, okay. So, um, I'm very grateful that Rob and Laurel and Traylon were all like, yes, please stop messaging us and come do this <laughs> event. Um, because this is very important to me and personal to me. And when I was thinking about what song I wanted to sing, I, I did fleetingly think about doing I'm Not That Girl from Wicked. <laughs> but there's, there's a really low note in it I can't hit. <laughs> So I decided I was gonna do a song that um, kind of is my mantra. Uh, I started transitioning about four years ago. In fact, Wednesday, I think the 15th, will be my four year anniversary. <laughs> or as I like to call it, my tranniversary. <laughs> um, it is uh, a song about how my life has improved, about how um, uh, things have gotten so much better for me because I finally accepted my authentic self and have um, begun to live as the person that I was meant to be. I don't know how it's gonna go because the last time I sang it, I was a soprano. <laughs> nice. But ladies and gentlemen, this song is called Feeling Good. <laughs> Flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life. And I'm feeling 
In the sea, you know how I feel. River running free, you know how I feel. Blossom on the tree, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me, and I'm feeling good. fly out in the sun you know what I mean don't you know butterflies all having fun you know what I mean sleep in peace when day is done that's what I mean and this old world is a new world and a bold world for me Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.